Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at a uh, actually a pretty serious problem, which is affecting currently Gigabyte motherboards, and uh, yeah, it's not very good news, and potentially could leave your system in a rather sticky situation. But don't worry, there's a pretty easy way to fix it, and you'll find out after this. Okay, so in today's video, we're taking a look at the Gigabyte motherboards and the problem with WPBT. Now, WPBT is the Windows Platform Binary Table, which effectively is Gigabyte motherboards way of interacting with Windows to actually execute code to run a program. Now, as it's meant to work, this is actually absolutely fine because essentially what it does is it means you don't necessarily have to have a DVD drive to install drivers or download drivers. You can just go ahead Windows will start up after the first installation and ask you if you want to install the Gigabyte app, which includes things like the monitoring tools and also updates for BIOS and all the drivers, which is actually great. It's very handy, but unfortunately it's been implemented in a pretty awful way. And as of the time of making this video, there are numerous BIOS updates, which actually mitigate a lot of this. But if you're not particularly keen on doing a BIOS update, although I suggest strongly that you do do a BIOS update, but if you don't want to do one, then there are ways you can actually disable the service in the BIOS, which we're going to show you how to do it today. So essentially what it does every time that Windows reboots is there's a small bit of code in the BIOS on the motherboard, which then runs an EXE through Windows. And actually the EXE is basically through a linked website. So there's actually three main websites or web addresses that communicate with Gigabyte gigabyte servers with the motherboards etc etc to download the latest updates now unfortunately at present from what i can tell two of those three web addresses are actually http ones rather than being https which is secure so essentially pretty much anyone with enough knowledge can actually kind of inject or spoof that address and inject malicious code which leaves your machine basically kind of a zombie and potentially yeah, could be very bad for you, especially financial records, passwords, all that kind of usual stuff. So ideally you want to disable it. So let's go over to the computer now and I'll show you how to disable it. Obviously, if you need to get into the BOSS on your machine, easiest way of doing it normally is if you reboot the machine as it's rebooting, just keep on mashing the delete key. Sometimes it's the F1 or F2 keys, depending on the motherboard, if it's a laptop, etc., etc. But generally for most motherboards, retail ones, just hit the delete key a few times until the BOSS comes up. And let's go over to the BOSS now and I'll show you how to disable it. Okay, so this is the BOSS for our Gigabyte motherboard, as you can see, and I do apologize for the fans going nuts. It's rather warm here today, but never mind. So what you want to do is ideally change from easy mode to advanced mode. On most boards, it's going to be F2 again. You can look at your user manual if you're not entirely sure. So go to advanced mode, and you might have to hunt around a little bit on these. Sometimes there's going to be like a spyglass or a search function you can use to do that, or maybe a help function, etc. But on this particular board, we go into settings and then go into IO ports and we can get into this one here. So this is where it is app center, download and install configuration. So this is the one which is causing the problems. So what you want to do is go into it, double click, currently set to disabled. So double click again and you can choose to disable it and then just save and exit your boss up here. You sure you want to save and exit? Yes, we do. And that is essentially it. So there you go, it's a pretty straightforward thing to do. Literally just change that setting, toggle it on or off. Now for those of you that are watching this video because of the nature of the thumbnail and you're thinking, that's a little bit scary. Potentially it could be for you as well. Now other manufacturers such as ASUS, um, I'm not too sure about ASRock, but certainly MSI also have a very similar feature built into the motherboards, which will automatically try and install MSI Center or ASUS Armory Crate, etc., etc. So potentially as a little bit of a safeguard, probably worth going into those individual bars as well and disabling that feature just for the time being because you know what it's like it's going to take a time for researchers to take a look at the other motherboard vendors and see what is going on and potentially there may be a vulnerability there previously on our bars tours i have suggested that it's actually a handy helpful feature and i still stand by that but at the time of making this video i would suggest disabling it just to be on the safe side so there you go, there are some helpful tips on how to keep your PC a little bit safer in this dangerous internet world. If you like this sort of content and you want to see more of it, click on the like button. Also make sure you click on the subscribe button and the chime icon to be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike, 
This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.